I've learned through sore experience how valuable it is to keep the air that is going into the engine as clean as possible. And that's the reason why I'm here now at Bailey's Off-Road, fitting a safari snorkel. I don't like wading in deep water, and obviously a uh, snorkel will help prevent damage to an engine from water. But to me, the most valuable part about this particular product is it's keeping the air cool and it's keeping the air clean. Stuart, I want to fit a safari snorkel onto my vehicle. Why do you think it's a good idea that I do it? I think it's... Um, a raised air intake, I think, is most probably a better word to use. Okay. So when you think snorkel, you think flippers, goggles. Okay, fair so. enough. Yes. <laughs> okay. Why must I put one of these? In? <clears throat> the biggest killer of off-road engines is dust. Mm -hmm. Okay, not so much water uh, as a lot of people believe it should be. But should the time come when you're doing a river crossing, at least you know you've got, you're guaranteed that your air intake is now higher than originally inside the engine bay. Um, in a convoy situation, you'll find that most of your heavy dust particles are basically bonnet high. And most um, vehicles, their air intake is pulled from inside the engine bay, normally inside from an in inner fender. You're getting the heat generated by the motor, mm -hmm. heat coming through from, from the radiator. Then you're getting the heat coming up from the ground mm -hmm. as well, depending what mm -hmm. services you're getting. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of heat generated here. Mm -hmm. Putting a, a snorkel on, uh, um, it's normally roughly about 15 degrees cooler, no matter what the ambient of the day is, your outer temperature. And plus you're getting all your, only your fine dust particles. And depending which air cleaner you're going to be putting on the top, you're going to be putting a cyclonic filter, it then eliminates and collects a lot of the finer dust that is collected in the bowl. There is obviously a money saving here because now, if I've got an <coughs> ordinary air filter that lasts me, say, 20,000 kilometers, How's it, that's going to increase, that, what, 60,000, 80, where is it, how's it going to change things? The only way I can describe, we did it uh, for a leading mining company, they did a, um, a little test for us over a three month period with three normally aspirated diesel uh, buckies. And um, they gained, they were, their filter life was threefold. Um, with, the, with the snorkels, and they, f they said they got an extra a 2 k's a litre um, consumption. Consumption. Okay, that is obviously depending, that I think is depending on how people drive, so I wouldn't use that as a, as a ballpark yeah. figure. That, But I think the biggest thing that you want to do is, is, is you want your engine to last longer, and the only way you're going to get that to do is, is to eliminate the dust out of uh, your air intake. So okay, I'm going to fit one, <clears throat> okay, and then I'm going, to, I'm going to take it to the Richards Felt. I'm going to do some experiments with it, okay, and we'll see what happens. And I can show you some dust just from driving around Joburg. Yeah. It's in there now. Okay, let's do it. <clears throat> <clears throat> no. Where did this, how did, look at that this. is three months worth of driving around basically Joburg, a couple of dirt roads. It's incredible. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Amazing. Couldn't, can't believe it. 